Okay, hello you guys. Um, if you're here, first off, thank you for supporting me and hanging out on this journey with me. I have decided to make this YouTube channel specifically for my photo shoots, makeup, and you guys can hang out with my idea planning for my photo shoots. I wanted to keep my female farmer rancher original farm account farming and I wanted to segregate this any different retrospect of my life. I'm not modeling and doing farming in the same thing. They're two separate entities. I don't wear swimsuits to work. I don't do um, boudoir shoots at work. Those are two separate things. Um, I recently started this because of true fans. I don't know if anybody's heard about this or know anything about it, but the website was pretty new to me. I saw one of my friends on Instagram was using it and so I inquired about it and I asked her, you know, fill me in about it and it turns out I really, really love this platform. I feel like I'm able to justify all of my content creating for the internet with my time because it's monetized. So. It just opened a whole entire new world for me, and I'm completely excited about it. I'm a little nervous, but I think that's probably normal in the journey. But um, basically, it's this platform. I've created modeling photos, and my thing is, is like you guys know, I farm. I own real estate. I own cows. I work with my dad, and this is what I do. So if I'm able to glam up my life and show you guys that, you know, just because you're in a small community doesn't mean that you can't use makeup or do your hair or enjoy fashion. Like, I'm excited to kind of put a twist on that because I'm kind of a unicorn in my field. Um, not many women farmers are out there who are unmarried and, you know, do this kind of work. It's a men's field. So I'm excited to kind of bring a new look into it and to really emphasize and show you guys what I know about like the modeling part. Have I ever been to classes to learn how to model? Absolutely not. I know nothing about it, but I can tell you way before my true fans platform, I was taking pictures of myself for myself a long time ago. I would take a selfie stick and wire it onto a four wheeler and use my cell phone and set the timer and try to take a cute picture with the background because I believe the farming world is beautiful. I think there are a lot of things about it that can be captured and turn into art. So I'm just trying to express myself in my little town. It's hard because it's a little town and you know there's always somebody judging you, there's always somebody who's gonna say something bad, but it seems like for every bad comment there's always maybe 10 good ones. So I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna rock it. This is the first time I've ever made a video about this, this is the first time I've ever recorded it, anything. So I guess I'm just uh, kinda winging it. We're just gonna dive right in. If for starters, some things I'd like to say about this shoot is I'm going to go over what I do and how I prepare myself for a photo shoot. Um, my friend Caitlin Ropers does photography and she's an amazing photographer. So it kind of started out as, you, you know, she was like, hey, can I practice on you? And I was like, yeah, sure. I love taking pictures and I love this. And then when I figured out that I could monetize my artwork that I'm doing, I was like, we can, we can do this. Like, can you be my full-time photographer? So basically this is what I do. The shoot that you just saw today, I usually take a bag and I have all of my photo clothes in it. Like, um, like today's shoot I had, it's December. So I'm doing some Christmas themed stuff and I got this cute little skirt from Kohl's and a lot you know it's great i have so many supporters my friends they help me come up with creative ideas of what what could i do to twist you know the farm world into like modeling what can i use every day in my life to you know as a as a prop so i have my handy boots my dad got these for me when we were on vacation in texas and they're my favorite boots so christmas red um garland i bought some of this at the dollar tree because two bucks for two strands and you know, we're just gonna spice it up, it's fun. Uh, I got this hat at the Dollar Tree and then I got some ribbon and I use this because obviously some of my photos are a little risky. 
we don't need anything showing that's not supposed to, so being festive. But every single photo shoot, you can guarantee that I'm gonna have a bag and I'm gonna have hairspray, lip gloss, whatever it is that I need in here, and props. My thing is, is guys, I don't ever rarely have my nails done because I can't forget to inform you and remind you, my job is farming. I am a full-time farmer and it is, it is super hard to have nice nails in this industry, okay? It is really hard, so I just don't. And you guys seem to just still love my pictures anyway. So yeah, this is basically how it started. I hope you guys enjoy the video and kind of watching what happens behind the scenes. But thank you so much. Thank you so much for supporting me. I appreciate it so much. You have no idea. Um, so yeah. So this is what it's like behind the scenes. This is Caitlin. These are the cows. In the photo shoot, I'm going to be in this tank and the cows are all going to be behind me. Okay. How was that shoot? Nerve wracking. <laughs> the cows enjoyed it. I promise. Okay, kids, outfit number two. Wow, that zoom was really in. Outfit number two, in the trees. How are you feeling? She's not feeling anything. It's bright out. <laughs> Dead. Perfect. Okay. Let me get my shit together in a mirror. Guys, this is it. Like, straight up farmer. Like, taking photo shoots. <laughs> yep, just in the work pickup, don't mind me. Gonna put electric fence out later. Okay, well, that photo shoot's a wrap. Uh, how did you feel about it, Caitlin? I'm very excited for it. The ones with the cows. Yeah, it's gonna be amazing, and then the holiday festival, whatever you're wearing. I'm so excited! Stay tuned, I will insert some pictures at the end of the video, so. That's it folks, so until our next one! Okay, for a cute closing, I hope. I hope you enjoyed this. Please like, please comment, please subscribe, and if you really like my farming content, don't forget about my original YouTube channel, Female Farmer Rancher. Um, I have true fans, Patreon, Instagram, TikTok, all of that. So go check it out. And thank you. I love you guys.